Welcome to this edition of Practice Update. I'm Dr. Farzana Hafizula. I'm here with Dr. Fred Hirsch, CEO of the International Association for the Study of Lung Cancer and Professor of Medicine at the University of Colorado in Denver. Dr. Hirsch, fantastic to have you here today. Thank you. Thank you for being invited. Absolutely. Just yeah. I finally want to get some of your key takeaway points, not just from this year's ASCO, but all of the information that's come up to this particular point. Any salient practice changing elements that you'd like to highlight for our viewers? Well, immunotherapy uh, yes. comes very fast. Um, we, we see a lot of data these days, uh, still mostly in, in uh, second line, third line therapy. We are starting to see combination data in first line, uh, phase one data. We saw that uh, yesterday here at ASCO, uh, nivolumab and ipilimumab in non-small cell lung cancer. It, is, uh, uh, f it, it has efficacy, it is tolerable, so we are certainly looking forward to see more uh, advanced, more matured uh, data on this combination. Uh, there are, um, uh, of course, we are evading the big, the large phase three first line studies yes. uh, with uh, immunotherapy, which we believe will be uh, matured either late this year or early next year. That will probably change paradigm in treatment of uh, non-small cell lung cancer. Of course, uh, with the approval of nivolumab and pembrolizumab in second line has already changed a paradigm for refractory uh, non-small cell lung cancer. Now the problem with uh, immunotherapy is, uh, in my opinion, how do we select the most optimal uh, yes. group of patients? Sure. Immunotherapy is uh, costly, we yes. know that. Um, it has, even if it is mild side effects, there are few patients who develop serious toxicities. Uh, so we need to figure out how can we best select the patients? Sure. Currently, the PDL1 uh, IHC assay is the assay all the companies are pursuing, but the problem is with the PDL1 IHC assay is they are all pursuing different assays, different antibodies, different cutoff levels, different staining um, uh, equipment uh, included in their assays. So how will the community deal with this when the drugs are approved? That is the challenge. Sure. That is the reason we have the so-called Blueprint Project, which I happen to coordinate. It is a collaboration with all the uh, pharmaceutical industries and the two diagnostic companies Ventana and DACO, and we are trying to compare the different assays so at least we get an understanding of what are the differences, what are the similarities yes. in the assays. But we need to figure out in the future how can we best um, select patients to immunotherapy. Absolutely, you said it right. Collaboration, having transparency with regards to data, removing the silos, taking exactly away the compartments, right. and again, share information sharing, bringing the minds together to improve patient outcomes. I agree. Well, Dr. Hirsch, I wanna thank you for joining us today and for sharing your expertise. You said it right. Collaboration is essential. Information yeah. sharing, having that transparency of the data so that we can improve patient outcomes is of the utmost importance. So thanks again for joining us. Thank you, thank and you. Absolutely, and for our viewers, thank you for joining us for this practice update. I'm Dr. Farzana Hafizullah.